All right, y'all, Professor X here again with uh, some more news. Wow, last night, AEW, Double or Nothing, was off the chain from start to finish. And I'm talking about the pre-show to the kickoff to the matches, everything. And, of course, the highlight for me was when Cody Rhodes took a sledgehammer from his lovely darling wife and smashed that symbolized throne of Triple H. And, hey, Triple Bitch, just, just a thought here. That throne would make a good toilet seat because we all know WWE is the biggest shitter in the world. But with that being said, apparently some executives at WWE are kind of pissed about Double or Nothing because two of their very own may get punished for it. I'm talking about Renee Young and Natalya Neidhart. Because, uh, of course, we know Bret Hart showed up uh, last night presenting the new AEW championship belt. Now, for one thing, I'm no fan of Renee Young. I think her commentary uh, just stinks. But her or Nat or Natty do not deserve to get punished because whack-ass wrestling entertainment puts on a shitty product, and now they have a legitimate challenger as far as uh, television, you know, uh, television competition. So, in other words, uh, AEW, Cody Rhodes, big ups, big props, you know. Keep doing what you're doing, and WWE, you know, if you're going to punish two of your own for it, hey, you know what? I'm pretty sure AEW would, would have would gladly take uh, Natalia Neidhart on their roster. They could use her. She has all kinds of knowledge, and she has all kinds of years of experience. And Renee Young, I'm pretty sure she could, she could get maybe a producer spot backstage or even get, get on the commentary team herself. So you know what, WWE, punishing... Uh, uh, punishing two of your employees because someone else did something that you haven't done for over 20 years, which was put on a, a, a pay-per-view that fans actually paid for to see. 60 bucks, hey, 60 bucks out of my pocket, it's worth it. So all I got to say is, you know what? In the words of a kid, old kid, uh, in the words of an old Kid Rock song, hey, WWE, are you scared? You should be. Oh, and Stephanie, no matter how many talent meetings you have in the in the backstage area and mentioning AEW, it's not going to save you. Nothing will. It's like an old Ozzy Osbourne song I used to listen to. The winds of change are fanning the flames. They're going to carry you to your funeral pyre. It's pulling you down. It's your final descent. It's too late to repent. Because everything that WWE does and stands for is the ultimate sin. And on that note, leave your thoughts and comments and leave your thoughts and comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.